Power. Hey, with me and the star of the show. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa. This is my daughter, Renly, and this is going to be our first vlog. delivered so I thought I would just open it on camera here. Ren is pretty excited. Um, we ordered some new towels first for Renly because all of her baby towels like the ones that have the hoods you know they're just too small like she's gotten so big look at how big she is and they just barely cover her body so I tried to find some like bigger toddler size hooded towels and I found some on Crate and Barrel that were actually on sale so I ordered those and then it like inspired me. I wanted to get new towels for us too. And I wanted to get some like waffle patterned ones, you know? I was looking at Target, but the colors didn't really work with like our bathroom. I didn't want pure white because they just get so dirty and dingy. And then the other colors just don't work with the colors of the vanity. So I found some on Bed Bath & Beyond that were on like super sale for Black Friday and they were like $9 each. So I ordered a bunch of them. My original order was canceled. I had to pick a new color. Some of them have shown up. I'm hoping that they all do, but we've got at least a few of them. So first we'll open Renly's towels. Okay, cute. So she got two different little animals that are hooded bath towels. I think this one's like a llama. And I think this one's supposed to be like a dog. I'm not really sure. So let's open them up and see how big they are because I didn't take the time to read measurements. It just said toddler, so I thought that's probably bigger. Okay, um, they're not huge, but I think that they are better than what she had. Let me show you in reference. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, okay. Like the wing part, the wing part is wider. <laughs> so, at least I'll be able to wrap them around her when she's done taking a bath. They're not super long. That's the only thing. Okay, actually it's better than I thought. This will work. Overall, I'm happy with them. I'm glad I didn't play pay. Wow, I'm glad I didn't pay full price because they're not as big, quite as big as I was hoping, so she won't be able to probably use them quite as long as I was hoping, so. Now we'll open up our towels. And this, I have no idea what to expect with this as far as quality, color. Okay. It's like in a, that one's in like a, like garbage. Oh, I guess they all are kind of in like garbage bag looking situations. I ordered a few like of the bath towels and a few of the hand towels. The hand towel just fell out. Okay. This is what they look like. Online, it called it pumice gray, I think, or pumice stone or something like that. And I thought it looked like, like a true light gray, but it's actually a bit more beigey gray, gray, which is kind of my favorite. I actually really like this. So this is the hand towel. It's actually super soft. Let's look at the bath towels. So in this, in this package, there was only two of the bath towels and one hand towel. I think I ordered like nine bath towels and four hand towels. I don't know, my last order was canceled, so we'll see if they all show up or if this is all we get. And that would be really sad because the whole point was I wanted to replace all of the towels in my bathroom. Okay, it's nice and big, it's really soft. It kind of feels like a blanket to be honest. Hopefully they like, 
you know, absorb water well. Maybe we should test out one of the hand towels, just like wipe something up and see how it does. I'm pretty happy with them. If they're still in stock or if they restock them, I'll link them down below. They're normally kind of expensive. I don't remember how much, but they were on sale for like $9. So hopefully they're still on sale. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I just dumped a little bit of water on the counter and I'm just gonna try and like wipe it up and we'll see if it just like spreads around or if it like soaks it up. Okay. It it definitely soaked it up. Okay. Not too bad. I'm happy with them. I think that they'll pass my husband's approval. He hates microfiber towels, hates them with a passion. And so I was kind of worried that they might feel a little microfibery or like soak up water like microfiber. I guess not soak up water. <laughs> I'm very happy with them. I'm gonna throw these all in the wash so we can use them um, tonight and Renly's too. We are going to go pick out Renly's outfit. She is eight months old today. You're eight whole months old. That's crazy. We are a bit overtired and it is time for a nap, huh? It's time for a nap. We're gonna go read a book and go down for a nap. We stopped for Starbucks. We got Irish cream cold brews. I think we got the same thing. And we've hit the road. We're headed to Bullwinkles. It's like a family fun center in Wilsonville. Ready to have some fun for my sister's birthday. And then I think after that, we're gonna go to Bridgeport, which is just like a little outdoor mall and do some Christmas shopping, um, look around a little bit, try not to shop for myself. Um, and we've got a Christmas party we're going to tomorrow. We both still have to get like our secret Santa gifts for that. My person likes candles and they've got an anthropology so we'll probably stop there. Do you know what you're gonna get your person yet? Secret. It's a secret apparently, which really means he has no idea what he's gonna get.
we're back home now and we made a rookie mistake i thought the battery on the camera was fully charged and turns out it was not and we did not have an extra battery so pretty much as soon as we got there the camera died i tried to Took get a, one video yeah got one video of us walking in i tried to get a few clips on my phone but fortunately probably got a lot less than i meant to but we're home now renly is still a good day asleep of course it was a good day and it's not over yet Good morning. It's a new day. Today is Sunday. We've gotten up and showered and I got ready a little bit. Kim's making some breakfast right now and some coffee. Mm. Ren's been playing a little bit, but she's losing her patience. Mm. Today we've got another busy day planned. We're going to church. Probably gonna grab some more coffee along the way. After church we're going to um, my brother-in-law's basketball game <clears throat> and then this evening we have a Christmas party for work to go to so that should be fun we're gonna eat our breakfast finish getting ready and then we're gonna hit the road Okay, we're about to leave, but I wanted to record a quick outfit of the day with me and the star of the show. Okay, I'll start with mine. Just got a cream button-up cardigan on with my husband's shirt, brown shirt over top. Some dark wash jeans and some light colored boots. And Renly has her light colored overalls on her dark brown shirt so that her and mom match, her little leopard print bows with pigtails, and her little Sherpa shoes with ruffle socks. Way too cute. Basically her entire outfit is from Old Navy. Mine's from Target, and I think I thrifted the jeans. got out of church. It was really good. It was the kids program today. They were so cute. Does anybody else, like if, you're, if your kid falls asleep in the car when you're going somewhere, do you bring the car seat in? Do you sit in the car and like wait for them to wake up? What does everybody else do? Because I have tried one too many times to transition her into wherever we're going and she wakes up and it was like a 15 minute nap and just miserable for everybody. So most Sundays she falls asleep on the way there and I sit in the car for the first however long she decides to nap for and then we meet up with Kim and everybody else once she wakes up. 
So that's what we did this morning. But luckily she didn't nap for, well, luckily or not luckily, I don't know. She didn't nap for very long, so we only missed like 10 minutes of it. tired it's only like 8 30 but it feels like it's midnight, midnight. yeah it's a very good day dinner was delicious have anything you want to say it's a good weekend it was a very good weekend so Renly was such a good girl that's the true whole time. that's true she loved dinner yeah she had a great time she was not very interested in eating much of her dinner but she did try a little bit of ice cream and then had a massive blowout on the way home yeah. just to really top it all off now she's asleep. We are going to do the same. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. There'll be more to come. Hope you all have a great week. <laughs>